Thank you, Mr. Minister. A smart person said the best way to predict the future is to invent the future. And that's what they do at Daimler. And uh, Mr. Dr. Bernhard uh, will show you how. Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. From my side, a cordial welcome. Um, I'm very happy that you have come out here, um, followed our invitation. Thank you, Mr. Webel, for all of your efforts in the past months. And it's not such a common thing that you can rent um, a section of a freeway for just one day. It's a perfect place for our um, show, and the weather is fine too. Ladies and gentlemen, we have talked a lot about autonomous driving, and now it is time to present our autonomously driving truck 2025. The freeway is just the right place. That's where it belongs, and that's where it, 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 it is at home. It's not just the right place, it's also the right time because the technology for this truck is mature. Um, we have sensors that are so powerful that they can process the images that they take. Uh, computational power is strong enough to process all the signals coming from the sensors. 19, in 1969, uh, the Apollo mission 11 flew to the moon. moon. The compu computational powers was 150,000 flops. One of the computers uh, on one of our trucks it has 102.5 gigaflops. So <laughs> not for um, aerospace um, prices. The requirement for more efficiency and uh, connectivity is uh, present. The long distance uh, truck um, has to go long distances. Uh, cost efficiency is in the foreground and not driving pleasures. And um, the highest demands for safety must be met. With our future truck Mercedes-Benz, we open a new door. We um, provide a vision for how transport could look like in the year 2025. And we are very proud to present our autonomously driving truck. This is a world premiere. Here it is. Well, have a look. The driver on the seat lets the autopilot do all the work. You can see how the steering wheel just turns slightly and adjusts itself. The truck steers and drives completely autonomously. I think with this truck, a new era is opening up for road traffic. The camera is shown. The vehicle is not steering, is steering itself. The uh, driver has um, time and room for other activities. Um, the truck bundles uh, all of the assistance system to one network system and can autonomously drive the vehicle. The future truck is not just a prototype, it's a pioneer. 
It's the worldwide's first truck that drives completely autonomously over long distances. It accelerates, it brakes, it steers, and it uh, shifts gears. And that doesn't only work in stop and go up to 30 uh, kmh, but also to the permissible top speed of 80 uh, kilometers per hour. Our future truck uh, 2025 is not just a gimmick, but a near series study. It is the first of its kind, and I can assure you, it will not just remain a study. It is good because the future truck offers a number of benefits for the driver, uh, the forwarding company, and society. Let me sh uh, show you some of the benefits for the forwarding company. It lowers um, the fuel co um, the cost for fuel. A few a percent makes a different whether uh, and makes a difference whether. Um, a forwarding company is uh, riding on the overtaking lane or uh, the hard shoulder. It, the future truck uh, respects loading, uh, topography, uh, traffic situation. It doesn't do any excessive acceleration, braking. Uh, the highway pilot uh, steers the truck like an alert driver uh, with top skills um, and foresight. It can uh, see more than a driver. It looks over a crest. Um, it can also look into the future and knows what trucks are at what part of the route at what time. The future truck lowers the fuel consumption because an intelligent truck also is a, a cost-efficient truck. Safety is also a cost issue, and rather not safe, um, yeah, it avoids in, um, accidents, in, uh, improves insurance rating, and increases the availability. It also um, increases the transport performance. Now, um, when traffic jams happens, uh, the load um, packages aren't there, and uh, there are problems with the networked uh, systems of the trucks, um, decisions can be made much more quickly. A networked truck delivers important information on route planning, scheduling, and all that in real time. It, um, offers uh, assistance for decision making. A uh, few words about the benefits for the driver. As we already mentioned, autonomous driving can make this profession more attractive. The work situation quality is increased, enhanced. Uh, there's a mobile uh, office for the driver. It, he can do his invoicing and no longer needs to do it on the weekend. Uh, breaks can be, to, uh, be planned better. For example, um, he can book his parking space and his schnitzel at the rest stop and his shower. Uh, also, scheduling work can be done from the cab, can communication with the customer, uh, and can develop as a delivery man to the transport manager. Um, altogether, there are better communication opportunities. Uh, truck drivers are usually away from their friends and families for a long time. Nowadays, um, with modern media, he can, he can use web uh, telephones and, you, you know, young people chat and text with their iPhones. They don't want to be isolated sitting in a cab for nine hours a day. They would like to be in touch uh, with the um, outside. And this offers uh, a lot of potential with the autonomous truck. It also has the potential to enhance the uh, job profile of a truck driver. Also for the society, less truck uh, jams, uh, less emissions, um, a step towards accident-free driving. Um, most accidents happen because uh, drivers are distracted. Um, major distractions are texting, eating, drinking, um, phoning, but 
um, anticipating autonomous truck can avoid that. Truck reads traffic signs, speeds, uh, it warns uh, the driver about tailbacks of uh, traffic jams and avoids rear end collisions. We lead our assistant uh, assistant systems to an integrative uh, system and uh, come closer to, to our vision of um, accident-free driving. 2012, we had about 600,000 kilometers of traffic jam, um, a traffic jam 15 times around the world. Jams in our private life are a problem, but if our customers are in a jam, they lose money. Also, jams uh, burden uh, the environment and our economy. The networking of our uh, trucks uh, improves the traffic flow. Uh, traffic guidance systems bypass um, trucks or distribute them so they won't all end up in a bottleneck and a jam can be avoided. So uh, available capacities and roads can be utilized better. Another side effect, um, exhaust emissions. During jams, 12 billion liters uh, of jams are uh, burned off during jams. And that's a huge amount of CO2. And we can save on that. And last but not least, Autonomous driving has an um, economic benefit, both for the forwarding companies who will be uh, willing uh, to pay for that. Um, earnings for um, forwarding companies will uh, increase, which is also not, not only a topic for the European community, but also for the US, where distances are even longer and legal provisions are already being made. A special strength with Daimler is that we do not start from scratch. The passenger car colleagues have done some work already. In this S-Class drive from Mannheim to Pforzheim, they proved that in complex road traffic of a city, autonomous driving is possible. We will be the first ones to prepare the highway pilot for serious production, and we will use the potential. Politics has to take autonomous driving seriously. Lots of frameworks have to be set up. Four fields are important, data protection, traffic regulations, driving and rest times, and infrastructure. It is clear that to use the benefit of this autonomous truck, we have to gather a lot of data. We have to define who has the rights for this data, who has got the access. Then there is data where the operator is interested in, and there is data that the public is interested in, and we have to make it available to the public so that we can achieve something for everybody. Another topic is the traffic regulations. They have to be changed. So far, it's been necessary that the driver has the full control over the vehicle. And here, you have seen that the driver no longer has his hands at the steering wheel. In the meantime, it's been possible. The international legal framework has been changed that uh, the driver can uh, leave the control of the vehicle to assist systems. Now, this international law has now to be translated into uh, national law, and I think we can achieve that by the end of the decade. The Americans have shown us that this is possible. Of course, this also has to do with product liability and insurance issues, and in the next five years, we'll certainly find answers. Driving in rest times, drivers need a rest, but can the driver relax only at the rest area? Well, maybe he can use infotainment on board. We have to discuss about that. The traffic infrastructure, uh, the basis for that are clean road markings, lane markings that the system needs for orientation. And the traffic control systems, of course, have to be as intelligent as our truck or maybe be even more intelligent. Ladies and gentlemen, each one of you who has children knows that you're very proud when 
kids start to walk by themselves. The future truck for many of our colleagues is something like a baby. And I can assure you that our employees are really proud that today that is possible. And I have, and I think that they have all the reason. In the recent months and years, they have invested a lot of passion, a lot of heart blood, and that's why I would like to say thank you very much. You did a wonderful job. Thanks to you, we can be here today. This project is not over yet, though. We're actually at the beginning. The future of transportation will start with this future truck. Our future truck is the link between vision and series production. It's a starting shot for a technological breakthrough in transportation. It shows us the way away from the overloaded driver into a future with a logistics expert in the cab. How it continues can be seen at the IAA in September, but then we will unveil the full study. Ladies and gentlemen, today we're writing a new chapter in truck history. The vision of autonomous driving becomes a reality. This underlines that we do not only talk about innovations, we implement them. And with this, we underline our technologi technological leadership. With this, ladies and gentlemen, the Future Truck 2020, uh, let me say welcome to it once again. Thank you for your attention. <laughs>